one for all you science fans out there who are bored at home and need something to do. This is the Odessa Meteor Crater, really one of the hidden gems here in Odessa. Now this crater was created 63,000 years ago and it's the second largest meteor crater here in the United States. And you can come visit it here yourself. You just gotta follow three simple rules. Stay on the path, watch out for snakes, and definitely don't take any of the rocks. Now this location here is an overview location of the entire crater. 63,000 years ago, this piece of land was, well, just another piece of land. That is, until it's hit by something, let's just say, out of this world. They estimated it happened 63,000 years ago, which was at the end of the Ice Age. It was about 100 foot deep at time of impact. And then when the water and everything kind of swished back in, it filled in quite a bit. And then over years, it's been slowly filling back up. We're approximately six to eight feet deep, depending on where you're standing at the time. Despite it landing that long ago, it wasn't discovered until 1892. This was part of the Henderson Ranch. And he was out here uh, working with cattle and found a meteorite. He wasn't sure what it was, so he took it to a friend, I guess in Austin is what they told me. And they figured out that it wasn't um, just a standard rock. It was a meteorite. Nothing happened with it for a while, until the Depression. A work camp was created in the area because they wanted to see if they could find more pieces of the meteorite. Now, as far as this uneven train right here, this was all done this way while they were digging out to try to find uh, meteorites back in the original dig back in the 50s. And they found the large crater. And as they were working on that, uh, the very first meter detector was invented from what I was told. And it was large enough it had to be on a plane and then they flew over it and they discovered the second crater, the third and fourth. On our location, we have the first and second crater. During the Vietnam War, nothing could really get done with it. So it got shut down until about 88, it was declared a national natural landmark. And from there, the landmark took off. And then in 2002, the commissioners and a nonprofit got together to create a museum, the walking path and everything. Originally 450 feet across and 100 feet deep, it's the second largest crater in the United States and is right here in Odessa. Despite this, few West Texans know about the unique landmark. I grew up in this area and I had no idea it even existed. I still get people come out today that's 90 years old that didn't even know it was out here. For those who do check it out, they get to take in a true marvel of science. This trench is one of the original trench, the earliest trench. This uh, trench is notated because they found a fossilized uh, prehistoric elephant tooth in it. Now this is the center of the crater. This is the shaft they dug down during the work camp in order to find the meteorite. Well, what they didn't expect was when they dug down to the bottom, Instead of finding one large piece of meteorite like they were expecting to find, they found a large cluster of meteorite. Now at this point, we're coming upon the sign that likes to point out that what you're seeing right here in front of us is actually the upthrust from the crater impact. So when this meteorite hit, it didn't just push everything down, it actually blew everything out and up. This one here is the second crater. It was approximately about 17 feet deep and about 70 inches wide. From what I understand, they found something like six tons of meteorite here. And once you've explored the crater, you can learn more about the meteorites that created it in the museum. For a small little museum that we have, we actually have a very large, unique collection of meteorites compared to most places. And then of course, we have the display for all the different meteorites that were discovered outside that we have here in the museum. This display here of the pencil drawing was brought out to us so that we can explain to people the different layers of the crater and how deep it actually went compared to how it's got filled in over the years. A crater that many people don't know about, filled with history and science you can't even imagine. You might call it a hidden gem. So consider taking a trip just a few miles down the road to experience history made 63,000 years ago. Just don't take any souvenirs.